Because I feel like Dirk actually did his thing on that song. That nigga ain't deserve no Grammy, nigga. What? J. Cole deserved a Grammy. <laughs> If J. Cole wasn't on that song, that nigga wouldn't get no motherfucking Grammy, bro. Cause that, that makes no sense. It was Dirk's, wasn't it Dirk's song? Yeah. So he deserved a Grammy. I mean that he was a he he had the concept of the song. Dirk he is like, J. Dirk Cole, is... hey Cole, I got this song I want you to hop on. Mm. Are you saying if we take Cole off that song, it's not a Grammy? Exactly. I also would argue that if we take Dirk off that song, it's not a Grammy. Oh no, you tripping now? Yes, because first of all, I don't think the song deserved a Grammy. Anyway, they're, they're just, oh, they're yeah, just giving that yeah, shit out. Let's <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it to them niggas so they can stop the they can stop saying we don't give it to black people and shit like that. Boy, the niggas did. are conspiracy theorists. <laughs> <thing. laughs> they just gave it. It's like they kill a mic. Fuck out of you! Don't, like kill don't fucking say that shit. Kill a mic. That nigga deserved that album. You see, you didn't listen you to listen, Michael. You listen to album. The hundred, it's fucking right about ten times. It's hard. It is fucking Pause. hard. Pause. Yeah. No, nah, no bullshit. Mm. I said that shit when I heard it. I'm like... What made you listen to that album? I don't know. Like, I look at Killer Mike in the same light as I look at Scarface. I'm not saying mm. they on the same rap. I think Scarface is just... To me, Scarface is the most lyrical nigga in the rap game. Like, to, to date. Mm. Like, I'm talking about Scarface from Houston. That nigga. Most lyrical? I'm storytelling lyrical? Oh, Hell yeah. Mm. Like, that's what he do. And that's Killer Mike's lane, kind of. Mm. And so I look at him in that light. Mm. So it was like to me, he tell them stories. Like and it, like the name of the album is called Michael. I'm gonna give y'all quick, quick give you a quick list. All the album what, what, his name. What, what, and he before, before, you, before you start that, what made you download that album? Because I know you were just sitting there like, hey, let me listen to this Killer Mike album, bro. <laughs> I know for sure you didn't. I am a Killer Mike. I like Killer Mike. No, I'm a you fan. No, you don't. I s- I've never heard. I've never heard you listen to no. Because mother- I know you don't want to hear no shit like that. To no that. motherfucking Killer Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard you listen to no Killer Mike. Bro, I'm not finna convince you that I didn't break the nigga music. You need to go bleed it on yay. But I am a fan, and and the it's a, it's a bunch of people like you mm. that's talking shit about why he got the Grammy because mm. you didn't even go give the album a try. It's just like, oh, I says, I ain't know about it. Must couldn't have been good. Mm. That shit fire. Okay. I'm gonna have to go check it out. Yeah, yeah. So, and then we're gonna come back to we gonna we gonna put a what? fork and kill a mic. Yeah. And we're gonna table that, because I'm gonna let you go listen out. And I promise you you're gonna come back, you be like, Yeah, all right, my nigga, I get it. So so kill all that. They just gave that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> we go we go we go we could we could debate any other shit. On the Grammys. Mm-hmm. The Killer Mike shit, I'm not doing this with you till you go listen, bro. Out of all the albums, you mean to tell me that nigga won? The hardest one. It was either, to me, and, I, and you know, this is like, I, I'm, I, y'all, y'all might want to laugh, but I'm mm-hmm. so serious. When it came to rap in 2023, mm-hmm. it was either, to me, Killer Mike or Rallo Rodriguez. Those those are the two albums that stood out the heaviest <laughs> all year for me. You can laugh, but I'm so serious. This is not Grammy worthy. From a production standpoint, Rallo, it wasn't because his name ain't big enough yet. He ain't, yeah. he ain't, I get why, but I'm talking about just how the music sound, the vibe, and Bikila Mike is telling that shit. Mm-hmm. You remember when 2015 when Scarface dropped his last album that, um, I forget the name of it, John, uh, do me a favor it, real quick while I'm talking. Look up Scarface's last album. It was 2015. He had dropped the album and he was like kind of telling his whole, it was almost like a, a memoir in like an album. Like he telling his whole life story. Mm. Deeply rooted. That's what it is. Scarface, Deeply Rooted. Mm. That was his last album. I think it's his last album he dropped. Uh, that motherfucker was front to back, no skills. I put Killer Mike album in that same life. What made you listen to that Scarface album? I, I'm a Scarface fan. <laughs> now you ain't never heard me listen to Scarface music. Oh my God. Unless it's that old school, that old song. Yes. But Smile I, I kept, I, for I, me. Smile. That, yeah, yeah. That's what you, you must listen to. Because ain't nobody listening to no Scarface in 2015. All right. Just do me a favor. We can move over from this. Just a bit. Just do me one favor because I got some other Grammy shit I want to talk mm-hmm. to you. Just go listen to go listen to Deeply Rooted mm-hmm. and then go listen to Michael and we'll have a conversation about it. I have to be really bored that day. Please, I, I hope nigga is Houston. No. We didn't did we didn't ran the streets long enough. Ain't, 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 ain't. It's two hours, bro. I'm asking for. He ain't never done running the streets. <laughs> oh, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Don't worry about it. But no, to get back on topic, Dirk shouldn't have won no Grammy because Dirk is not like a a conscious rapper. 
He is more of a beefing rapper. That's why I say that. But the song that's is not. That's song unfair is, to him, though. The song is not like a beef Hold song. Hold on. Okay, well, let's have that conversation. That mm-hmm. that's that's unfair because you like that. That's almost how like black people complain about the Grammys. What you just said because mm-hmm. you going in there with prejudgment. Like mm-hmm. you already prejudged. Like nigga, you ain't even supposed to be here. So no. Mm-hmm. And I think that's bullshit. But I'm just saying, if Dirk won won a Grammy for that, it's a million other songs should have won that before that. Oh, you talking about from a production standpoint and like, so your question is why you picked this one? Yeah. If you add, you say a million other songs sound like that. Before a, that, that could have, could have, could have got it. But a million other songs, damn, I think I'm about to make your point then. I don't even know if I want to say it. <laughs> I'm about to say, because a million other songs ain't got J. Cole on it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your whole point. You mm-hmm. like, nigga, yeah, J. And I'm like, I was like, because like, ah. mm-hmm. that's the point. I was like, the song, is is it sounds like two two thousand or well, it sounds like two thousand twenty three twenty four mm. right, but it, it also got cold on it like mm. spitting his, so to me that's what make it Grammy worthy. So now I'm like, I ain't gonna say that's the only reason why Dirk won the Grammy, but I'll say he a major contributor. Yeah, to why he won the Grammy. I I because like when you made me think about, it, I'm like yeah. I feel you. <laughs> what other what other what other things about the Grammys you, that caught your eye? Just just as a recap. Oh, what Jay Z was talking that shit about. Man, that Beyonce. shit was so funny. I, yeah. I, was, I was hoping he was gonna get to that mm-hmm. that point. How do you feel about that? Just be honest in terms of what he said that she she didn't win the best album. So thing? so she got the most Grammys in Grammy history. Mm. It, like of all people, but her only award at the Grammy she's never won is album of the year. Mm. And Jay Z was basically saying, if y'all haven't watched it, it's phenomenal. Even though he was stuttering, you could tell he didn't write this shit. Mm. Jay Z said like it's it's crazy, like mathematically and like logically, it don't make sense to how you could be the most decorated Grammy Award winner, mm. but you never had an album of the year. Meaning like I've been nominated for song of the year, video of the year, collaboration, blah, whatever category you got, I didn't want that bitch. Mm. But you're telling me I haven't put together a, 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 a album, mm. but I didn't capture every category, but I ain't put a, together a body of work. i like, nigga, she won Grammys already. Like, does it really matter? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that does, it, does it really matter, bro? I, I, 